Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is a timeline of the major discoveries in chemistry. All right, so one of the most important discoveries in chemistry is the discovery of an atom, and it actually had quite an interesting and long timeline. So atoms are the most fundamental building blocks of nature and all matter. And they were first kind of conceptualized by a Greek philosopher, Democritus. And so he philosophized that uh, if you cut a substance in half, and then you cut that in half, and you cut that in half, and you kept on going, that eventually you would be stuck with one particle that wouldn't break in half. And so he actually called them atoms. So his idea that there is some kind of fundamental unit. And actually, he pretty much got ignored, um, although, you know, he was important enough this all got written down. And then we had to skip uh, a couple thousand years, and in 1803, Dalton, a chemist and scientist, actually did experiments to prove that, yes, in fact, there were fundamental building blocks called atoms. So, uh, and almost 100 years had to pass before the next major discovery, which was made uh, by a scientist named Thomson. And what he discovered was that uh, atoms actually had charges. And so he discovered that overall was neutral, that there was positive charges and negative charges um, in the atom. And so he basically discovered electrons and he thought that they were just kind of stuck in the middle of some stuff. Like if you put marbles and clay or something, that's what he thought electrons were. So he thought everything else like this was positive and then the actual electrons were negative. And so this always gets called the plum pudding model. So that's some kind of British dessert, but you can kind of imagine it's a bunch of pudding with some plums stuck in it, it sounds gross. So Rutherford was the next major discoverer and what he discovered was that there was actually a nucleus inside the atom. So Rutherford figured out that most of the mass all comes from the center and that the protons and neutrons were there and that the negatively charged electrons were floating out around in a shell. Um, and so he just kind of said, you know, the electrons are floating out somewhere um, and the nucleus is positively charged which led to the question, why doesn't the electrons, why don't they all come in and actually bond with the nucleus since negative and positive charges are attracted to each other? And so Bohr answered that question. He basically laid out a bunch of rules for electrons saying that there's a nucleus and there's many subshells of electrons and that they all can only rise and fall according to certain rules and they all have their own places. And so that was the Bohr model. And then after him, Einstein and a bunch of other very, very, very smart scientists went even farther and started, you know, discovering quantum mechanics and realizing that an electron could act as a particle and as a wave and figuring out uh, very intense uh, theoretical math and saying that electrons are actually even more interesting than that. Um, and so that is pretty much the current era that we're still in. Um, and we have lots of understanding about atoms and their various subsections now. So I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been a timeline of the important discoveries in chemistry.